This is the tripod for a mid ETX 125. You can use it for ETX 90 also. Uh, for setting it up, you have to attach this uh, eyepiece holder tray and then uh, tighten up the legs. Adjusting the legs is almost uh, to the height of your lower part of the ribs. That will be convenient if you are whatever height you are. And this side should face toward the north, uh, south, and that leg should face toward the north. You can use your mobile phone or a compass or anything to find the location of the north. Or you can just in the 12 o'clock in real time, in the winter time, if you are, find the 12 o'clock the position of the sun, opposite of it is north. Okay, I have now. Uh, installed the telescope on the mount I lowered it then with these two screws there are two holes inside here and then you tighten them up and your telescope is set up first you do this but keep it a little bit loose then you do second one after that you kind of start the process of you know aligning it uh, which I will not do today. I just wanted to make sure this is the tripod mount for this uh, I had it in storage. I was always using this telescope on the windowsill But uh, when, when you're using the windowsill you have limitations you cannot really be sure that uh, What you are seeing or what you're tracking will always be What you want actually? So with this hopefully I will be able to do it always miss the intermediate uh, Maxitov. I have a Maxitov 90 C90 and also ETX 90 and ETX 105. I have also Maxitov Skywatcher 150 but this 125 is something that uh, is intermediate between the powers of them and I uh, always wanted to use that. Now I have installed it. Let's just, just have a look in the optics of this and uh, see what we can afterwards so this is the telescope it needs probably a little bit blowing with the blower but that's it it's maxis of mid ETX 125 uh, diameter of the mirror is two millimeter bigger Mid does that deliberately because the limit of it will be taken by the rim when they announce it so uh, is not exactly 25 if, if you have that rim so 25 22 millimeter will be added to just compensate for that ring around it the optics is this you can see it's very nice and lovely there was a time in 1990s that uh, every uh, you know boss every CEO of company had one of these on his table or on a mount or a windowsill in their office and that's the reason we have a lot of them now available for sale as second hand because this is not in fashion anymore by then it was a cheap alternative to to something like a uh, Questa which uh, didn't have this uh, size anyway as far as I remember and uh, Questa 3 was uh, the most common one probably and Questa 17 also but uh, that was rarer than that so this was beautiful it looked really modern it had a nice thing you had in your office and you could show that you're you're a man of the world okay the focal length of this is 1900 that's two meters almost 10 centimeters less than the two meter that's f15 really good uh, chromatic aberration free should be that means that the light path from here to here once this is around yeah 30 35 centimeter another time 35 centimeter okay that's so now you have 70 or probably 40 i should say 40 40 40 80 another 40 back 1000 so it must be a little bit more than because uh, we consider this amount also you have to consider so if i say 50 yet again i will not have exactly that amount of the focal length 
So, um, how they calculate it, you have to see for, for yourself how they calculate the focal length of this. Um, there are accessories for that. I love this uh, lens cap for this, it's metal. Of course, it's easier with the plastic one, you just un undo it, but this is also premium. This gives a premium look to it. It makes it like a quest star. Also, Microsoft telescopes like Schmidt Cassegrain are dew magnets. Practically, they absorb a lot of dew because of this surface. Uh, and because they don't have any dew shield, you have to have a dew shield. I was lucky enough that this uh, telescope came with a dew shield of its own. I bought it second hand. So let's just install it and see how it will look. Yeah, that's the dew shield now installed. As you can see, it added along about yeah, 15 centimeters to the width of the, to the length of the telescope. This is how it looks like inside. Now the dew will form on this surface and will avoid the direct contact with that. You can put even a dew heater, dew shield heater here around it. Which I will do if I need it. Now that is uh, tightened up, I need to adjust it for the latitude. I will just do it. We are in the UK, so generally around 50, a little bit more than 50. So, but I will do a complete uh, setup of this with showing you how the actual, you know, finding an object is later. Okay, when you adjust it for the polar uh, alignment, that's the position of the pole in our sky, is the line's axis going from this direction toward the north. So, that means when this telescope rotates, it follows the diurnal or sidereal uh, rotation of the Earth. Along it, it will follow, and you will see the object is staying in the field of view of this beautiful telescope. So, when you do that, you have to be very careful. Hold the tube with one hand, or if you have another one, another person to help you, because this is heavy. When you're trying to lift it up, if your hand is holding this loose, the telescope will go back and bang. You may fall or hit the mount. Anyway, your telescope will be knackered. So, very, very careful. Tighten this up properly also. You don't need to use this. Uh, if it's, it's good for if you want to do astrophotography or you can use it like that. You don't need to use it like that. You can bring it down and just use it as an altazimut. And it will do its job. Instead of following in a curve like that, if you follow in a zigzag pattern, pattern follows a little bit in the azimuth, then goes latitude, azimuth, latitude, in a step like that, we follow and the same effect. It's good for visual, may not be good for astrophotography, but anyway, that's your choice. This is how it looks like when you are facing almost the south. Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't get tired looking at it. <laughs> oh. And the finder scope of it is this uh, interesting bit. It's a red dot finder, but a bit a different uh, way. It is also oh north level. You have to you can connect it to actually find the north because this is also like a level. I may use it, I may not use it, but uh, that's my option. <laughs> I don't get tired looking at it. It's beautiful. Imagine that this was in the office of a CEO, 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 CEO uh, chief executive of a company. Never used it probably, <laughs> and now look, pristine condition. I got a second hand. If I want to buy it, but uh, first hand, you know, you have to pay a lot of money, arms and legs. Yeah, I'm now packing it up because it's going to rain, so I will come back to it later. I had a short, just half an hour, 
window of the clear sky and I mean no raining practically and now I'm going now to put it back store it okay I've now put it in this uh, position the dew shield the way it goes on it is from the wider side you slide it over the tube and that's it it's done now it fits perfectly to this I have dew shield for other ETXs and this one also is the biggest okay now I have uh, removed the telescope and his mount the tripod will go into this lovely meat bag the OTA and the mount goes to his uh, it has a, a rucksack like thing, I think it's a observatory camping observatory kind of thing you know and that will be stored and the mount itself will go into the lower part and the uh, eyepiece holder tray will go in the top part so nicely designed the tripod and the uh, eyepiece tray and the uh, carrier bag are now ready for storage and if you're curious that's the way i was using this on the windowsill that was in february 2019 a long time ago what is amazing about this uh, um, what i like the, about this meat telescope is that it, the motor is all the time keeping the object in the center of the field of view so when I adjust it that's it it goes on like that and doesn't change that's amazing I love this telescope probably one of the best I've ever used beside this little penguin